Hey everyone, here to show you a very exciting feature. Basically the use case is, let's say I have one field and I filled it in, but now I want it to automatically copy that value in that field, whether a date, number, text, whatever, put it in another field. That can be a lot of use cases. I've seen some where someone says, hey, I have a start date and then a projected start date. And so at least to start, those are the same things, right? Uh, maybe that changes over time or amount, right? I have an amount on my deal that also appears further down for a different reason. I need those to be exactly the same. Whatever it might be, that's what we're trying to solve here. So that second one is kind of the one I'm gonna try and solve today. So what that looks like is what we have for our deals. This is just some of our test deals here. And I'm gonna create a brand new deal. So I'm just gonna call it another one, another test deal. I'll call it Tom's test deal. Why not Tom's test deal? We'll put that in. I'm just gonna, we have some mandatory fields, whatever, this is a new thing. Qualification stage, that's fine. And I'll put an amount, 1200. Now, what the use case I want to do is that when I create this and put 1200 in, I also want that $1,200 value all the way down here into NRR subtotal. For us, that means non-recurring revenue subtotal. So again, at least to start, it changes sometimes over time, but to start, amount should equal NRR subtotal. It's a nice shortcut. So I don't have to type that in twice. I want them to be just exactly the same. So how do I do that? Up until now, I probably have to write some custom codes, some glues to grab the API names and of each of these different fields and do a mapping, which works fine. But you know, that gets a little bit tricky if you're not a developer or if you ever have to make changes, you have to remember what you wrote three years ago. And so the trick we're going to use instead is we're going to use a different tool for this. So I've set this up here. It's on my deal, the sample workflow and I'm just gonna say on create that's fine I'm gonna have it so that's only my test deals right so let's say deal name contains test right and let's just make sure let's do capital T just to make sure and so then what I'm gonna do here it's not gonna be a field update because field updates are static values so instead I'm gonna use a custom action and my advanced field update so this is really kind of the trick here. And when I come in here, you can see I have all these different kind of flows of what I might want to do, right? So there's a lot of them here. I'm not going to go through each of them, but the important one here is the advanced field update, right? So it's a field update, but it's a little bit more advanced. And I come in here and it sets it up pretty easily. So I come in here, type in, for example, I want to update the NRR subtotal. So all my fields are there. And then what do I want to update it to? This is another great trick. So the first trick being the tool, the second one is that I don't have to just type in, you know, a thousand, that wouldn't be useful because then it always updates to a thousand. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the number sign, which is what I just did. And what you can see here, now I can use merge text. So I'm gonna say, okay, amount. And I pop that in. And so you can see now what the system's gonna do is it's gonna say NR subtotal has to equal whatever's in that amount field. So I'm taking the value that's in amount copy and pasting it into the subtotal. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna just call this um, amount to NR subtotal, right? That's basically what we're doing. Save and associate and hit save. So now that workflow is live. And so let's see it in action. So you can see it here, all of our workflows. It's live, it's good to go. And then this, as soon as I hit save, it should trigger that workflow. So let's see here. So I'm gonna hit save. And now I'm doing this in real time. So moment of truth, we're gonna check the timeline and I can see some very interesting thing, things have happened here, right? I can see my couple other ones went through, but I can see that this one also ran. So I have other things actually happen, other advanced field updates, but the one I like is mount to NR subtotal. It looked like it worked. And so I scroll down. If you remember, I didn't put anything into that NRR subtotal. But if I scroll down, uh, sure enough, well, it showed in the timeline, but it's not here. So let's just refresh. This is all again, real time, not doing anything funky. <clears throat> so again, let's maybe scroll down. Maybe the refresh was the trick and it was the trick, right? So I can see the NR subtotal automatically went in there. And actually what it started to do is put in our SLA amount because we calculated off the NR subtotal and the amount outstanding that needs to be built. That's all also off the NR subtotal. So just by doing that one simple mapping, with my tool, I'm able to get a lot of fields and really kind of flesh out this deal a little bit more based on some very simple inputs. So that's just one example. I'm sure you have many more, but that merge tag using the advanced field update and using the merge tag is, is really kind of the trick there. So that's about it. It's as simple as that. What I'll leave you with is if this is something that you might want to try out for yourself, for your own system, for your own deals, if you think there's some value here, please check out the advanced field update tool. It's part of a suite called the Workflow Enhancement Suite, blueroot.ca slash west. That's the acronym there. Uh, and you can see 
all the things that we can do. So it's not just what we talked about, update a field with another field. There's a lot of other really exciting things, all those other flows, kind of go through how you get started, some really simple gifts, and then really a couple referrals, and then just a, a simple download link. It's, it, it's really that easy. Please do check it out. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment, that sort of thing. If you did like it, and hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.